guys. <laughs> Welcome to our podcast that we've been trying to set up for four hours. Yeah, we're just talking about fitness. We're talking about fitness because both of us are sore. Because make no mistake that when you do choose to try to like do anything for your body, it it's hard and it feels it your muscles hurt. So You're, don't. I mean, basically, my workouts for the last, say, 20 years resemble like Morticia Adams, <laughs> like just like knitting very tiny, tiny, like just I don't do anything. So my body's rejecting what's happening to it right now. I've always been somebody that works out. Uh, I think it's it is because my brain works so fast that I do like an aggressive workout, but I would never go like five times a week to like see results. I think it just kept me like a little bit in shape. Yeah. But now I'm doing workouts that are really hard and I feel my age. I'm like, Total, yeah. oh, I can't do that lateral move because my hip really flares up. And I, I had this realization in the last week or so that I, by the way, this is the Am Moms Are Hard podcast. Yeah, find any <laughs> anywhere you listen to podcasts, you can find us. And if you're here because you want to hear sexy talk, just wait because... At some point, You'll we'll be probably talk for about a hemorrhoid. a long time. Yeah. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. But I had this realization that 15 years ago, I would work out so that I could eat whatever I wanted to. And it was only like three days a week. I would like do a good walk. I'd do free weights. Yeah. That kind of thing. Like You I, lifting free weights makes me delighted in my brain. I really liked it. Because I, I want to see you do like a like a clean, like where you start with the the entire barbells like on the ground and then you whip it up over your shoulders oh and press it up over your head. Well, I never worked with the, a bar unless we're talking about alcohol. But that I used to work out at LA Fitness, which is like where all the meatheads that can't afford Gold's Gym go yeah, to. it's where and you want to go when you want Infantigo. Totally. But it was really cheap. It was like less, so cheap. less than my cable was. So oh my it, God. And I knew people that had gym memberships because like <laughs> the their shower in their apartment wasn't so good. So like yes. they would live at the gym. Hey, Homeless man, people would join yeah. that gym to shower. LA is yeah. expensive. It is. So I would go in there. But the, the thing was, it was like all these like very young meathead dudes, you know, yeah. very roided up and stuff like that. And I would there was a whole level that was just free weights. So I'd get down with the <laughs> treadmill and I would walk up there and it'd be like record scratch. It would be yeah. like, who is this? Uh, Hot, blonde, no. tiny, little They looked thing. at me like I was 900 years old wearing like <laughs> a, a sweater I'd quilted myself or something. You like, go over and you pick up the three pound weights and you're like, I'm going to listen to some nine inch nails. I'm going to wail on my lats. What's up, Freddie? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. But they, they, a lot of women don't want to go into the free weight section of the gym because yes. all of the dudes, it's a little bit intimidating. And I was just like, get back. I'm going to fart. Have a really funny, very yep. recent farting story for you. I don't know how funny it is. You farted recently? Yeah. It's my front, favorite. In front of our friends. Who? Was I there? No. No, this was... Um, so how we're all reacclimating, getting yes. back into. Yes. So um, I had an outside bar party with um, Sarah and Bobby. Yeah. And Dennis, of course, stopped by for a little bit. And Ian, like we had oh, nice. all been They're together. They're all over in your neighborhood. Well, except for Dennis. And we started playing this really lovely game that was like, play your favorite Prince song for everybody. Maybe one that people haven't heard before. And while everybody was looking for songs, I just was so happy and relaxed. I farted really loud, you guys. Oh. And you know what the most hurtful part of it was? Nobody laughed at me or gave me shit. Everybody was like, oh, no. Just ignore Just it. kept looking at their phones. Oh, man. Which, that's worse than anything else. I, I would have been I go, like, did you guys hear Smedley ripped one? Did you guys, did no, you guys hear I that? I go, that was from her butt. I go, that is exactly what you think it was. I just farted really audibly, and I'm really sorry, everybody. And then they were just like, Oh, just at look at your phones. phone. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Oh, man. I would have given you endless I shit. I know. I wish my husband would have been there or something, because we would have been like, what just happened yeah. here? Here's where I'm at. I toot so often now that I don't know I'm doing it. <laughs> and, my, and my family's like, what is wrong with I'm like in the kitchen, I'm like, whoop. And I, then I always blame, Eleanor's like, mommy. And then I always blame it on the dogs. And she's like, was it the dog? I go, no, Eleanor, it was me. But I'm going to always blame it on them or a spider. I think we've been locked down too much because yeah, I'm too I, relaxed. I, that's, I think I really was like really happy. I'd had like two glasses of wine. You're, everything down there I'm is like relaxing. Super. I didn't even know it was coming. <sighs> I was just like for a second. I was like, yeah, that was my butt. I kind of yeah. felt that. So 
I and just sometimes couldn't do you don't know if, if it. it's gonna audible when it comes out. You just try to like let it squeak out, it, and then sometimes you're like, "That's so loud." This was so you loud. You know, this is my thing. This I is don't what feel I do. like I got prior warning because I might have tried to clench, but this was as if my body had just given up. Your body so, was like, hum, 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 "I'm coming out." Yeah, yeah. You know, you know I was what? like an old woman in the grocery store grabbing some sausage links <laughs> out of the reach in. It was just like. <laughs> She's not talking about the hot guy at my gym, you guys. She's not talking about the hot guy at my gym. Yeah. Not those sausage links. Well, let's talk about a delightful subject Are we going to talk about Zoom this week? Right? We're going to we... talk about Zoom because, you guys, someday this is going to be far in our past. Not saying that Zoom will be because I think Zoom is around to stay. I think we can say that we did a... Oh, you guys. We did a corporate show for Zoom. We did a Zoom for Zoom. <sighs> we did a Zoom for Zoom. And can we just tell you, this is how it started out. So... Ironically and not ironically, they asked us to jump on a Zoom about the Zoom event that we were doing for Zoom. And when we sat down, the first thing they said is, um, you know, we really wanted to try to get uh, Michelle Obama. Who who doesn't want to go? No. She Michelle said no. Obama. Yeah. Michelle Obama said no. Yeah. They said, we also reached out to Oprah. This is the God's honest truth, you guys. Yeah. And we go, did you tell people that? Yeah, they they're going to get us and think, what the? They did tell people that. And the rumor mill around Zoom was evidently really going. At one point, people thought the surprise guest was going to be Jay-Z. Jay-Z. And so you can imagine their, their disappointment, disappointment when we show up on the old Zoom We showed up call. on the old Zoom and we made it very clear to them that an introduction was necessary in case no one knew <laughs> who the F we were. <laughs> so we were like, go into great detail how we talk about um, we, our bodily functions. Yeah, we lied about some numbers. We like lied really about some numbers, some, you know. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not everybody on the globe knows who we are, but when you tell no. your kids, you got to you got to lie so that they may think you're yeah. cooler than you we are. We didn't really lie, didn't but lie. it was very telling when most of the first like comments in the chat were like, "I don't know who they are." They're, but they're funny. They're funny. It was nice. Yeah. It was a really fun event, and um, uh, we had some we had some notes for Zoom. Uh, we've been doing a lot of thinking about Zoom lately. Yeah, it wasn't something that we were not fully prepared to talk about right we really because <laughs> we we're... spent so much time <laughs> bitching about everything <laughs> zoom related not uh, not the fault of the company but hey yeah. somebody's got to bear the burden of this pandemic and it falls on zoom i just my can't house. help but think like are the people behind skype so pissed right now are they literally around like a boardroom table yeah. and there's like four executives and they're all getting paid like 12 bucks an hour and they're like uh, you guys we have been around forever yeah why isn't everybody skyping yeah well because it takes like it's really heavy, I don't like a why Microsoft. It has to be such a download. I don't either. I swear to God, every time we've gotten sent is a Skype call, I got to update, download yeah, something. And it's is always that worth a, it? it's always a um, news channel in the Midwest that's like, "Hey, can you guys jump on a Skype?" I'm like, "No, I don't." I, I, I jump on a Skype? I, absolutely. I'd not. rather jump on a plane and come to you and have a meeting than try to figure yes, out Skype I at gotta this point. Prepare for a day. At also, least. it's gotta, my phone number from like. 18 years ago, so I never can sign into yeah. it. So Sorry, Skype. my Hotmail account yeah. won't let me in anymore. My, <laughs> my space was connected to my Skype. <laughs> no joke, about three years ago, my husband deleted my Hotmail account when I had a computer issue, and I was like, what that, were you? Th I can never get into my space ever again. That, yeah, my space is gone. Thank God. Because <laughs> it's like the a only, cemetery, you guys. Oh, my God. My space, what a nightmare. Do you remember, like, I had a cousin who, like, oh, man. I had a cousin who was like really into it and him and his girlfriend, now wife, they're lovely, would like make like music play and like things oh, fall yeah. over their images and then you could like, you couldn't click on anything because couldn't click on anything anyway. Yeah, like, new, new background. Yeah. Were, and was I even like used a, it to invite people to improv shows and dudes. Yeah. How was that though? MySpace. Was it like, there was no like um, group where you could see How what- How fizzy is her pop sorry, right now? She's everybody. literally pouring a pop and it's like- that might be from Jen's butt. It's like an Wait, RC you know what? Cola you guys are on a commercial. podcast. You guys, do you hear that? It's like one of those. Oh. A, what do you call them? AR day ASM. ASM. This is. Uh, we're having a <laughs> delicious midday beverage that's not <laughs> alcohol, and you can tell how midwestern we are because it's diet soda, which it's, everybody else considers poisoning. Yeah, <laughs> we're having a pop. It's the middle <laughs> of the day. We're sitting yeah, around cola? having a yeah, chat. Pop. Yeah. Name your favorite pop from when you were a kid. Go right now. RC Cola. No, why? Oh, you guys. Because it was on like forty nine cents. I told you this. I know. 
hey, expensive is not a better cola. I feel the same way about champagne and tequila. Uh, I disagree about tequila, <laughs> but I can't have this conversation because if I say tequila, I'll You'll vomit. Bark. Like, I, know. I can't. I have had some expensive <clears throat> tequilas that I'm like, oh, okay, this I don't is care better. This. this is better. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. The only time I would drink tequila again is if The Rock sent us some of his tequila and The Rock delivered the tequila himself. Back to Zoom. Back to Zoom. Oh, yeah. We got to so get back to Zoom. This was very interesting, we found, because we're going to give you some of the nitty gritty about Zoom. So we thought it was so interesting because... The three people that talked to us about it said they can't wear their sh- their swag out in public. They can't wear Zoom t-shirts because yeah. everywhere they went, parents would come up and like unload on them about how hard Zoom is. Yeah. I mean, you see people struggling to like, like teacher's aides do like a breakout room in Zoom. And Ugh. look. It probably isn't a software issue. It's probably an operator It's an error, operator so. issue. But you know what? If you're wearing a Zoom t-shirt, you're asking to get an earful. Like, I don't wear a Zoom t-shirt. No. I mean, I, I think the, the, the truth is, is that, like, the general population of the United States is operating at not such a high level. In, yes. In that, like, I mean, we... If you've ever tried to like coordinate a purchase on Craigslist, you're like, some people are really having a hard time at life. They're yeah. just like not now figuring. Now add anything tech in. I thought we were going. Yeah. Zoom is easier than I expected, but harder for some just because of it to, being a technological thing at all. I mean, to teach the population this whole new thing. It was like, hey, everybody, learn like – I can't program like recording shows on like oh, no. Netflix and stuff. If you My husband can figure does out your that. DVR, Zoom is easy for you. See, Netflix, you don't even do that. It's Hulu. It's yeah. What, what do you have to record stuff on Hulu? No, you record on your DVR, Dippy. I don't even. You do. Just, I have one you, of those. Yeah, you you guys pay a billion dollars for your cable every month. Your husband told me. <laughs> 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 this is how close we are as friends that I get the inside. I don't even know that. Yeah, you have to record whatever. But the 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 point is is that Zoom gave us school and Zoom gave us school. Yeah. Like I always say, like thanks Zoom, we could have had a year off from work, but you taught us how to work from home. You made it possible. You made it thanks possible for-, <laughs> for us to take it to the next level. And might I just say that the Zoom of it all still like operating like, hey, let's let's share a screen. That is in itself a nightmare because you can see your entire desktop. Yeah, and you can see what kind of porn tabs you get open. Yeah, I'm telling you, we had a family reunion. I had a cousin with like 14 tabs open. I was like, we can see 14 of these are porn. Ew, and God. I, you know what? Like, Did anybody say anything? Like, no, I don't, I don't know why. You, I, you know, they're the loudest bunch, and I, I don't know why they didn't say anything. My cousin David texted me. He was like. Can you see all those porn tabs? <laughs> and I said, Yeah, I don't know why. What was he doing right before well, we this know what he was family doing. reunion that we're having on Zoom? I can tell you. He looked like he'd been on the treadmill, and we know that guy doesn't work out. He had a sweatband on his head, shirt <laughs> loosely buttoned. Gross. Yeah. He's yeah. wearing like a well, satin robe. Yeah, we don't want these windows into people's lives that Zoom has given us. I, I want to, I prefer to not. No, I don't know why I feel like every time, like I literally just broke my computer. So now I have this new fancy little computer. It doesn't have one thing on my desktop, but I'm convinced if I have to share anything on Zoom, it (laughs) would be an automatic like nudie photo of me. I don't understand. I don't even like, I don't know how it would get there other than I was having a Zoom with my OBGYN, which that's a different thing. Yeah, that well. Well, you know what? That's convenient. I didn't really do that, but I think that should be a thing. Well, you got to make sure you got the right ring light for that because you want a very large ring light. You guys, she has a, a <laughs> ring light that's like a Klieg light. Like you, she bought it special from like a helicopter supply company just to make sure she's all airbrushed for Zooms. You know what? Thank you, Zoom, because every time I look at Zoom, I'm reminded of how many chins I have. And in fact, I did a little research and the number of surgeries that have gone up for uh, text it's text neck is what it's called text neck yes because we all that's look my down. favorite kind of nachos that's different mm, I love nachos that's I the other too. reason I have double chin <laughs> um, tech neck where you're like looking down oh, yeah. and you get all these like come on zoom like you you've literally figured out how for our kids to go to school how to work from home 
By the way, big shout out to Zoom because they've also opened up opportunities for people with disabilities to work. They've figured out like oh, that's so working great. from home has created a whole new world in terms of w- where people can work. Moms can work from home part time. Like we're seeing a lot of good things. But I'd still like to say zero in on my tech neck. Yeah. Put a I little filter on that, will ya? There is a beauty filter, but it's not the default, which is which so is stupid. stupid, right? It should just like automatically yeah. like make you more beautiful. Yeah. Or just soften everything for the love of God. <clears throat> like if you can figure out Zoom, A, get a ring light. Get a ring light so you don't look like you're in a federal investigation. Yeah. B, why is that beauty filter not the default? Is anybody six million candle powers? What yeah, I'm talking like a I, really. I have real a light. ring light that is the size of a large tire, and yeah. it's fine. And I put it right in front of my face. I no longer have retinas. <laughs> Just gotta unplug the dryer to yeah. get it. In. Don't yeah. worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so yep. I read part of an article that was talking. There, w- it was written about another article that oh was about how companies don't want. A, even though they can save money, they like the culture of the office culture. So uh, it got tweeted. It was like a, it was a, God, who, it was like Deloitte and Touche or I, I, no. That they're was, saying that they would rather have people come into work than to yeah. work from Zoom. I kind of get that, honestly. But th- this is one of the things they were saying is that like, Part of the culture, like the backlash on Twitter was extreme because they're like, the office culture is like celebrating people's birthdays, having lunch together. And somebody got really savvy and was like, yeah, I worked in an office and guess who did all the dishes and cleaned up and ordered cake? Me, because I'm a woman, I had to do all these extra things in the office that men in the office didn't have to do huh? or didn't do. Well, I know that like if you're the office manager, that's kind of your position. And so I do feel like, I don't know, I, I can see why office culture is really positive. And now having been home and having to be around my children all the time and work from home and be around my children all the time, I'd love to go to somebody else's office. I don't even have to work there. I just want to go. I would like to go to an office tomorrow that is not my house and just post up in their lobby. I just want to be there. I want to see people walk through that I don't know. I'm just going to go surf lobbies. Have have you had like an office job before? You know, I have never had a real office job, not one that you go into regularly. I have been an office PA, which I could not get um, fired faster. (laughs) I do feel like- It's the worst job for someone like me is to be in an office. I think think so. I was going to say because there were so many things about it that bothered me and I've never had this thought before, but I think would drive you crazy because- you could be doing like the h- hardest, most intense, like on a deadline work that you have to get done. And like uh, Roger in yeah. the next cube over is talking really loud yeah, and annoyingly about my mind. his fishing trip. And yeah. like, th- that's just the way it is. Yeah, you know? I'd get a lot of shut up Rogers and then I'd be told by HR I was being insensitive. Yeah, and then you would also see that Roger doesn't do shit, but yeah. he's like best friends with all the bosses. Like yeah. it's really an annoying, like- I don't do well in office settings. That's not to say that I think there's anything wrong with the gig. I think there's a lot, like my friend has worked for State Farm forever. He loves it. And it's a super gig and he goes into an office and he, but he also, they have such a good office community. They go do, yeah. um, what do you call it? Nebraska games. They go um, tailgating. Yeah. And, you know, I do think like we can't remove the importance of just human interaction. Sure. Even though Roger sucks. Yeah. I think there's a place for Roger in the world. And it's nice that Roger is at the office and he's not your neighbor he's your he's at the office so there's a place for him and then you come home and you feel disconnected from the bad day you feel so glad to be away from roger where it mixes all right now i also think that we can't step away from the work it's so easy when you work from home to go oh i'll put the kids to bed i'll just do this thing for an hour and you're not really giving yourself you're always kind of working. You're always kind of working which that's the other thing they found in the last year is that people aren't like they're not being productive Oh, I read that people are, they were worried that like, employers were worried that people wouldn't be productive from their homes, but they're being more so because they're working constantly. Oh, like, interesting. Like you don't have the eight to five. You don't yeah. have like hours, you know? And, yeah. And probably it's plus it's like, hey, I would literally do these TPC reports then take care of the kids. Yeah. You know, like. I think that like going to the office, I think what I imagine myself to do would I would go in and I would complete my work in 15 minutes, probably not very well. And then I would just want to chat to everybody until lunch. And then we would go to lunch 
And then I would come back and that person that I was chatting with would be worried they aren't going to get their work done. So then I'd find a new person to chat Yeah, with. there's a lot of that. that yeah, And I can, would just roll down the, the aisle chatting. There, there, the, those positions are available at a lot of offices. <laughs> and then I would end up with Roger and I'd be like, fine. <sighs> I worked with a guy in sales. <sighs> I am not going to say his name. Can't. We're going to get in trouble. You did not work with him in sales. You worked with him in... Make believe make world. believe sales. Okay, I worked with a guy, and uh, he was so he was a really terrific salesperson. And I used to say, "Here, no, he can't even spell it," because <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> the worst faxer you'd ever seen in your life. I would enter. We were like, "I'm going to put a lock on this machine." If you use company letter- letterhead and send another, like, oh he- no, he would lie. He would make up. That's actually. He sent a fax. I remember to somebody named Lori, and he used every vowel, every vowel to write the name Lori because he didn't know how to spell oh it. So we just like kept God. throwing stuff in there. L a u r i e. I brought him. I brought him the cover page, and I was like, "You forgot why, my friend? You yeah. forgot Loria." But he was like golfing with the boss every Friday. It's so frustrating. Yeah. Like, I don't know office culture. I don't think I, I think we're in a new era. I also yeah. think that um, women are becoming more significant in the workplace and we're seeing them like climb to the top, which is super cool. And they're redefining what that looks like. And I think it's a, yeah. it's time, you know, we, way past uh, also, time. So. We don't, oh, this is the part about American culture that I just hate. I think there is this idea that like the person who works 14 hours a day, six oh, days yeah. a week is the person that's most dedicated to their job. Therefore, what life can you have? Certainly can't be a parent. Yeah. Certainly can't have a relationship. You're going to live in a one bedroom apartment that has like Ikea furniture, for, like no – I have an Ikea table I've had for 14 years. I'm not bagging yeah. on Ikea. I'm just saying you're not giving any thought to your life outside of this work. When I think that's all horseshit, if you ask me. I think what we should be doing and what makes p- employers nervous is what if you had somebody who made the exact same amount of money, but you didn't put a timestamp on it. You said, I just need these things done at this time. And if they got done in a good way, who cares how many hours it took you? If it yeah. took you two hours and you could be a mom for the rest of the time or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or go on trips, God love you. Yeah. I think that's the Google approach. I think that's these bigger companies that are going, let's work smarter, not harder. Because I think with the nature of the pandemic and with Zoom, it's felt like these meetings that we are normally on, we we were on for four times as long because totally. people were literally in their head like, where do you got to go? You know, yeah. and I'm like... They My were, living room. It's a different set of demands, and I do think that there'll be like a a a shakeout of some sort. I'm really curious to see what it will be because, like, hiring in the last like 15 years with tech companies and the way people work and like having the ping pong table and all that yeah. stuff is different. And it's because like uh, you know the Gen Xers who everybody likes yeah. to bag on, but they live through the um, like the bad 80s economy. Yep. They're the children of divorce. Yep. They're like the children of the like, we're scared you're going to get abducted by Satan worshipers. Yeah. Yep. They like don't have this um idea of permanency and longevity in their careers. Right. That I mean, that's why- I like, believe the younger generations do. So like the Gen Xers are like, that's why everybody was doing lots of drugs, staying up late, trying to work as many hours as they could to get to the top of their company because they thought yeah. this is all going to go away at some point. And yeah. now you're in a different game. And I think there I think there's confidence in the younger generations to be like, hey, maybe this isn't the job that I the career I have for the rest of my life. No, I can go find something else. They're like fast and loose and yeah. I'm okay with it. Uh do you think that I always wonder this? Like, do you think now that everybody's been on Zooms, if you go to a barbecue and you see someone, you're like disappointed? Yeah. <laughs> or if you're like So short. I had no idea. So short. I didn't realize yeah. Chuck was the five sixer. I think he he sat real tall in his chair. Yeah. And, you know, some people, you can tell this by, like, selfies and their profile pictures. You're like, well, you really know how to work your angles. And yeah. then you see them in real life and you're like, you are not. Yeah. If the phone is directly above your head and you're looking up. It's great. God love you. Yeah, you need there's... to see yourself in a in a positive way. But that is not how the world sees you yeah. in, in the way that, like, the camera angle's different. I Listen, I try to crop my arms out of almost <laughs> every... Well, in Zoom, you are cropped. You're just shoulder it's, skinny. I, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? It's great. Her face is so close, but it's, it's better literally than literally that nobody's wearing pants. I, my favorite thing to do during a Zoom meeting would be just if I had the power, I'd be like, everybody stand up right now. You know nobody has pants on. Yeah, no. Half, or they or don't wearing, match or they're like yeah. jogging pants. Or it's like un, unforgiving pantalones that are kind of hugging everything. And then they would stand up and you see everybody's... What if everybody was wearing red biker shorts? (laughs) Weird. (laughs) Fun. I'd be like, I didn't get the memo. (laughs) Uh, That sounds actually really like a fun thing Everybody wear your red biker shorts today. We're going to do a stand-up Zoom. But not the ones for biking. The ones from the 80s that were like shiny, you know? Yes. Those aerobic shorts. Yeah. Gosh, listen how high it went. They are. They're erotic. They're real. (laughs) They're a real ball hugger, those. You, ew. Boys. Those... That's you know what? how That's we separate the thing. bosses from the underlings. The underlings. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Especially sorry. if the seam goes in the middle. Oops, You're I like, keep, how I, large are your testicles? Sorry, now that we're on testicles, we better go to an ad oh, break. Oh, yeah, we're going to go to an ad break, or as I like to call them, a commercial break, or as yeah. I like to call them, a jingle. Listen to this word from our sponsors. Beep, 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 beep. The other thing I was thinking about Zoom, too, is that everybody does these weird backgrounds because the other thing I researched online was that um, it's this weird thing where you get to see where people live. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get comfortable get- on that. This podcast. I'm, What's wrong with you right now? I don't know. Is it hot in here? Mike feels a little. Is the chair broken? Is that the broken one? My husband broke a chair. Literally just sitting on it. Is it the broken one? You guys, it's all coming apart. Got a splinter. There's definitely a split in it. So maybe it'll happen again, That's the broken chair, and we thought it wasn't. But yours is little, so you'll be fine. I can break it. we bought this table and chair set. That was my leg on the bottom of the Sounded wall. like a toot, Kristen. I didn't Real toot. Relaxed. I would tell you. Okay. If I tooted on this part podcast, part podcast? <laughs> if I tooted on this podcast, <laughs> on this podcast, <laughs> first of all, I'd be like, let's lead with that as the opening. We all know farts are funny. Yeah, fart, on, and the word guys. fart is gross. P- tooting I is know, more I, funny. That's I feel better saying tooted than farted. I don't let the kids Well, they're say. different. My, Toot's cute. It's like, boot. Fart's like, uh, you might have left something behind. Well, the mine was a fart, but- my most recent public display of fartation was definitely a fart. But my son, we're only allowed to say toots in our house, but my son lobbied with a like very strong argument, argument why he felt like he should be able to say fart. So he doesn't – he's the only one who says that in our house. You guys are way too diplomatic. Well. I'm like, you guys can say fuck, but you can't say fart. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I gotta get I gotta have control where I you know who gets so I... f- funny about that is my husband because he's from Texas and so like I don't know if he's just never been around women that like make noise but I'm like uh, we all toot and poop y'all there's like a lot going on because he's like he's like don't don't say fart can you just say something else and I'm like ripped one <laughs> blasted crop dusted <laughs> pull my finger <laughs> butt talk exactly what what do you want which Poofed. Poofed, queefed, that I can do. Skittled, oh, I, scootled. Okay, I th- thought you were. I thought you were going to say that he wanted you to like hold it in, and I'm like, I think got, he would prefer that. Women got too much to do with their lives than hold gas in all the time. Yeah, you guys. if I held it in all the time, I would literally explode. I would, I would spontaneously combust. Especially right now because we're both doing these high protein diets, you guys. Oh god, the healthier the food you eat is. <laughs> Well, actually, there might be a spectrum, right? If it's really healthy or like super unhealthy, that's I think where the the fart situation overlaps. Like, is it a circle? I mean, like I'll a- tell you right now, I eat too much broccoli. Everybody's paying for it. Yeah. Okay. Eggs do it to me. Eggs. It's like a delightful explosion. If I eat fried chicken, I'm done for. Forget Ever, about forget it. Forget it. I'm yeah. gonna before I before I'm even done eating the chicken, I'm. <laughs> Cock doing dual dueling dueling. Well, maybe we just we're two ladies that have slightly relaxed bee holes. That and that <laughs> speak for yourself, ma'am. <laughs> what you're doing at home? I mean, that's that's all that's. You know. Oh, dogs barking again. Do I need to pause and go put them in the back room? It's Can really annoying. It? I mean, well, there's dogs where we're podcasting. We're so that's podcasting, just... and my my husband took the kids to the park so that they weren't loud. Uh, while we were doing this, so that it's delightfully quiet. Yeah. Well, I- speaking of that, back to Zoom. <laughs> yeah. If you gonna- ever want anyone to talk to you or need you or want to interrupt you, get on a Zoom. 
Yeah. There's no other time that your child needs you more than if you're like, hey, you guys, I have to jump on a Zoom for work. They're like, well, that's when I'm going to want to print. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be when I need to ask you about a math question that I know you can't answer. Yeah. Mine, mine would, my daughter, who's five, literally doesn't understand the concept of like, that in her classroom, there were 24 other kids on there. She's like, I see the teacher big. I see myself. There's like four other kids at the top. Yeah. She that, doesn't well, know. Two aides in there. And then she's like, so it's just me and Giselle getting taught by these three people. Yep. But um, she, so she doesn't get it. So when I would be on a Zoom, she would come in and be like, mommy, why do people die? Like she'd come in oh. and ask like a real serious or embarrassing question. Like, and I'm like, I can't. Do this right yeah. now. We, I would come I, in with don't... my hands on my hips to Eleanor, who is do her nails all the time or whatever she was not supposed to do. And I'd have my hands on my hips and I would get a little view of myself and I, then I'd suck it in because I would see how I was standing. Yeah. And I would say, hey, mute me. Put me on mute. Put me on mute. And so then she said she muted me and I was like, you need to stop doing your nails. And, you. and then I would like lean, lean her into the desk to get her started. And I could see that I was fully unmuted and the camera was still on and I was just giving nothing but boobs. Totally. To down the, the entire co- Down the front. And I yeah. wish it was more of a like a like a corset situation where oh no but you could see the split between my boobs yep them hanging and then my stomach skin yeah. hanging where they get all like cartoonish yeah looking. like where yep. they're like you don't even know what you're looking at it's like an up di- upside down stalactite and yeah. i'm like what that would be a stalagmite i guess whatever yeah. it looked like it was like the rolling hills no, up he- yeah well that was i i get a really nice when i lean over the um between the boobs you can see several layers of like yeah. Muffin. Mine, I, I enjoy that you get to see what kind of bra I'm wearing, which is literally like the brand should be called I've Given Up. It's, yeah, it's a I parachute, have a, you guys. I have a bra right now that I paid so much for because I bought two and I've had them for four years each that my fingers go through the back. There's no oh, yeah. more lace left. Yeah. I get a little back fat that creeps through the back. So if I'm wearing a tank top, it's delightful. She's got lace-shaped fat. And the- I've got <laughs> lace-shaped fat, you guys. And that's where I'm at in my life. I can Thank joke because I do too. I <sighs> you could never. There's not an exercise for that. I also think it would be really funny if – Eleanor's teacher thought that her virtual background was of your like hips with your fists clenched. Yeah. Up. Like, well, that's an interesting background to have. And yeah. she's like, nope, that's just my actual. That's my mom actual mother there. hovering over me and breathing down my neck because she knows I'm either drawing a, a fairy or a dragon. I'm either doing mm-hmm. my nails. I'm trying to have a side chat. Doesn't and I don't know how to do it, so I'm super not cool about it. And I'm completely like I, I know what she's doing without her even trying to. I know. I would go check on Dash and now see that's her neighbor. Oh god with, those with the freaking bins. You guys, what have I done? Okay, just oh, tell wait. him just tell him what the deal is with my neighbor. Okay. Okay, we've got a neighbor. So a real he, pain in the ass. He puts his bins <laughs> somehow. I don't know if this is regulation. Even he's got like six or seven bins. He's got trash bins. You've got the black two, bin, the, blue the green bin. bin, and the blue bin. Yeah. And bin day is the day we record our podcast. Note to self. He note puts to self. Them. We just are now discovering this after a year and a half that today is bin day. Hmm. Well, well, moving on. Okay, we're gonna move the that. day and note ruin that. his joy. Yeah, and kill his joy. Okay, so this guy's so been giving Jen a hard time the bins, since day one. like six feet apart on the entire block. Yeah, so there's takes nowhere up the to park. whole spot. So you have to like go down the street, loop Turn around, around, go to the other side, and like he does it on purpose so nobody parks there that one day of the week. And I think it's the most passive aggressive thing ever. He does not own the street. Also, if you park there on a day when the bin bins are gone. And you have every right to park there. He'll leave a note on your car that says, don't park there because I have workers coming and it's bullshit. Well, then you march but your it, little sweet cook took us down to the city and you get, get you signs. signs that say, don't That's park here temporary. And then he put a sign on Casey's car that was saying that she didn't park appropriately. And I'm like, buddy, you know what? You need to get a job from home that uses Zoom so that you can work from your office so you can get in somebody else's business. And anyway, uh, well, on that note, I think we should go to a mom box. We should what go do you to say? a mom box. This is the mom box. This is our mom box. Mom box. Okay, so this message is a whopper. And um, a W A P P E R or a W H O 
I don't know. What's can you just send a burger through the emoji world yeah, and you get yeah. what you get? Okay, this message is from Kathy from Instagram. Uh, she and sounds like a fake name. Jen okay. wrote a really funny tweet and it said, "Remember, mom is wow upside down." <laughs> now <laughs> this woman writes. So this makes me laugh really hard. My sister, Chrisanne, was pretty good at telling outrageous stories. One day we were talking about tattoos. She told me she got one. I wouldn't believe her. She was seven years older than me, and I was about 12 or so at the time. So it was, it was a possibility. I asked her where she had it, and she said she couldn't show me. I asked her what it looked like, and she laughed and said she got an M on one cheek of her butt and an M on the other cheek of her butt. And she know and she said, Do you know what it spells? It spells mom when I <laughs> when I stand on my head. It spells wow. <laughs> she was a good ball. I miss her. She died of a brain tumor at fifty one in two thousand ten. Oh, golly, I didn't know it was gonna go there. I know, but here's the here's the here's the moral of the story. Do we really believe she got that tattoo or is she just effing with her little sister? Just effing with her. Just off, I'm for sure. I don't that's know. That's super funny. That's quite a commitment. That's a you, commitment. How many people are going to see that joke? Depends on what your uh, <laughs> what you do for a living. Thongs were a, okay. a hit at the beach. Never in my life because <laughs> that would not be fun. I also, mean, if I had a tattoo on my butt cheeks, it would look crumbled because of my cellulite. It'd be like. Brum. I would just. I would not think to include the the the, the beehole. Hole. Yeah, <laughs> the. <laughs> Jen once told me that if you wear purple lipstick on your lips and it starts to dry out, it looks like an anus. And it's all I can ever think about when I have purple lipstick on. I'm like, does that look like a butthole? You want to go more like red-hued purple than a brown-hued purple. And again, I go back to the fact that I just don't know about enough about myself back there. As they say, <laughs> as they say, a butterfly never sees his own wings, and it's better I don't see mine. <laughs> And with that, let's go to a hot flash, hot flash. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, not a hot flash. We're going to go to an ad. Let's go to a hot ad. Let's go to a hot ad. Hot flash, hot flash. Hot flash. Every time our mailman comes to the door, Eleanor goes, she does that. I see you can't audible. Uh, uh, <laughs> I guess we just did a hot flash. I'm just saying she's already starting to give. She she shows no chill. She's yeah. like, where on earth would she get that? From? What do you mean? You think I do that? You think I'm really obvious? Yeah. When I yeah. am. We'll be at dinner Come or something, on. and Kristen will be like, our waiter's really hot. <laughs> and he's like, I'm sorry, ma'am, did you need something? She just does not have the... If you're what? chill, how does anybody know how you feel? <laughs> if you're just quiet about it, how do you know? Can't you extend a compliment uh, and be like, I find you attractive. I'm married. Don't worry about it. Good point. That is the other thing the millennials are doing. They're like, why flirt? Just say... If you're interested, is that in what there's? That's flirting. That's the new thing. What, what do you the, mean the new thing of just being like I'm super into you? Let's cut the because crap. we're uh, there's like God, be, you guys. How many trash bins are there on my damn street? I, well, forty thanks the to neighbor Yahoo next door is get, like stealing them and put them in front of my car. <laughs> He's gonna block me in. Literally, it's the the guy's working out solely in the front of his house right now. I hope it's as big of a pain in, in the, the ass, ass for him. him. Is he making? I it hope for he's everybody trying to else. report a podcast right now called "How to Be a Shitty Neighbor." <laughs> you know what? I hope he I does. Think I'd probably he, listen I'll to come that over one. here and drink and listen. You to know it. that guy's <laughs> on next door like it's porn. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna like bring my drum set. Yeah, the kids' drum set. Put it in the driveway. Yeah, we just have to let our kids loose. Yeah, just let our kids loose and be like, enjoy, enjoy this entire block. Yeah, at your leisure. We have a fairy village out on our tree. And this is why I love... I'm really narrowing down where you live here for I, everybody. Oh, my God. Yeah. Could I make it more obvious? But no, let me make it more <laughs> it's obvious. It's the neighbor to her left if you're walking out of the house. We, my <laughs> husband... We... Oh, God, you guys. We decided... Eleanor wanted to create a fairy village, which is so fun because they're all over our neighborhood. And so then all the girls, like, will leave, like, a little rock with a butterfly on it. Whatever. My husband decides... He's going to help her build this fairy village. So he, like, 
like intricately cuts the side of this fake grass to fit our tree. We have a I don't fence know how he did that. that's falling over, but he <laughs> spent six hours cutting out a piece of two foot turf for this fairy village. And then they built a balcony. I'm sure our neighbor is like, that. no, this is, I think this is a code violation. They've got a balcony. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to go give them a ticket for having white wrought iron out in front. That's a violation of. It technically is. Now we've really given it. We should just tell everybody my address. Uh, Well, A, he's not listening. B, you think him and Dale are hanging out? I'm like, God, I hate those two. Yeah. You know, you know that we are like, if those guys should put a podcast together. And they're, this is called I Hate I Mom So She hard. was having an outside socially distanced party and I heard her fart from yeah. my balcony. So. And you know what? It wasn't funny. It was gross. How dare, how dare she? Yeah. How dare she have you know what bodily she should functions? Do? Hold it in. She should hold it in and then just hope it comes out her ears. Thanks, Roger. Thanks for listening, guys. Well, Roger and... My neighbor and Jen's neighbor, Dale, all has a good party together. Okay, I guess we're we're done. done? We're done. Bye-bye. Bye.